Good day, everyone. Good to be back with you for another daily shave, another review, some more stellar products. I'm excited about this video. It is evening and my hair looks weird because I got a haircut. I'm leaving for another business trip and I've got a very, very early flight to catch, like 6 a.m. And so um, a shave tonight sounds great, so I don't have to bother with it in the morning. I can make this nice review video and uh, give you folks some more content uh, for the week along with the other daily shavers who are providing some excellent shaves and reviews. So I'm gonna do the same, get right into it. So today's review is going to be a continuing of something I was doing this past year and it's one of my favorite soap lines and that's fine accoutrements, but this one happens to be the lavender. And so um, I, another disclaimer too is I do have a new phone and the last video I did for Citrus Birdie, I kind of got the uh, alignment off, the camera angle and lenses off. This one has three lenses and trying to figure this thing out. So it's got nice, crisp, clear, clean cut video exposure, but um, I'm getting the angles and the direction and the actual um, framing of the lenses and where they pick up. And so anyway, I'll figure that out. But this is one I haven't reviewed yet. I've used it before. Um, I just got the soap. I've had the splash for a very long time, but not the soap. I got the soap recently. So I'm excited to review that. I reviewed them all, I think, on this channel, with the exception of green vetiver, because I'm, it's a good scent. I think I'm just mad that it replaced clean vetiver, so that annoys me, And you know, but I'll come around to it. And the other one would be snake bite, but I think Ross reviewed that one. Excellent video, and so, um, and like I said, I'm not the only daily shaver that's done fine, but fine is one of those brands that just, I'm a brand loyal kind of guy, and one day I'll get into what some of those brands are, but, there's some brands that just jump out at me and grab me and captivate me. And Fine Accoutrements is one of those brands. From the very first video I saw Nick Shaves do, it was a comparison between clean vetiver and fresh vetiver. And it was in those old square perfume type bottles. Oh, they were beautiful. I wish Fine still did those. But um, ever since I saw those videos, I was captivated by that brand. I went out and got the splash, one of their splashes, and uh, never looked back. So Fine, I have almost all their stuff. And one of the things I just picked up that you may want to look into is their new dock kit. So I do a lot of traveling and my old dock kit uh, was another brand that was pretty faithful to, but it's pretty beat up now. And uh, their new dock kit is a really awesome mesh bag. It's got these uh, fine accoutrements, uh, inner lining. I would have featured it in the video, but it's full of stuff for my trip and I didn't want to take it all out and put it all back. But if you get a chance, go to their site, check out that bag. It's pretty cool. So I've got most fine stuff. I've tried... Uh, one of their razors, pretty much most of their soaps and splashes, including the dock bag. I really can't get into their brushes. I like the handles, but I think they're, uh, they're knots. It's really pretty much that old, you know, uh, Plisson style knot. And it just, you know, it, these days and age, that's kind of a knot that's just kind of faded into obscurity. I see it from time to time, but there's so many new knots now. And they're smaller and, you know, so that's one thing if they update, it'd be good be to update those knots. And so anyway... Let me get into the shave uh, before it starts to get away from me. I've already got my brush loaded. Um, one of the things I wanted to show you too that I've not showed you in the past with some of the fine soaps is the actual packaging. So you know kind of how the tub looks and I showed you all that. But this is the boxes that they come in. So if you've never seen it, um, the packaging, the, the actual container is a little flimsy and you folks know how I feel about that. But this is actually what the boxes look like. Uh, very well done. There's you know, a little bit of instruction on how to load your soap, gets into their branding. This is really a three and a half ounce soap, so it's not a four ounce pour. And the soap is actually poured and molded with a stamp in it. And then that's the top of the box and so forth. So I do have something moving around in there. When you open it up, it's got printing on the labels on the actual end folds there and also here on the bottom. So it's well done. I like it. It's, it's a pretty cool presentation. Um, it says here, use fine classic aftershave. Yes, sir, it's as good as you've heard. So you buy the soap and it's got a basic, uh, a proclamation or promotion for the actual splash itself. So I have both, as you know. But anyways, I wanted to feature that in one of the videos. Um, today's razor, it's gonna be the Merker 34C. Want a nice, easy shave uh, for this evening. Don't wanna get into anything too difficult or challenging. And for the first time ever, in a video, I'm gonna feature the feather blade. So this is not a blade that I've used in quite some time, or it's not a blade rather that I featured on a video before here. And it's also a blade I've not used in quite a while. So it's really, I only use it if I use that 34C, or it's a razor that I trust to really subdue the blade. It is one of the sharpest blades of wet shaving next to that and the Kai are probably the two sharpest. So anyway, I'm gonna use that. And since I've harnessed Badger, I've not used 
my wolf whiskers in a while. This is a smaller puck and this is a smaller knot. This is a 24 millimeter TGN, two band finest. And this is my old wolf whiskers. So love this brush, keep it around. Uh, the knot is, is really kind of mediocre in comparison to the knots that are available today. So let's delve into this. That was a five minute introduction. But I had a lot to say and find is like, one of my favorites. I just love the brand for some reason. They've got that triple mill base. It performs beautifully. It's easy to use. And from what I'm told, it's the same base that Tabak uses for its soap. And Tabak, if you own it, um, there's quite a bit of controversy surrounding the scent, but there's not a lot of controversy surrounding the performance of the soap. So triple milled tallow, really what Razor Rock's using right now too for their new soaps. Uh, everybody's got to step up their soap game now. I talked about that in previous videos, but it's a fun time for me, having been in this hobby for a long time, to see all the different iterations of soap bases. It's fun because, I mean, the bases these days are just out of this world. It's just what your preferences are and a lot of loyalists out there, and I've talked about that before, but yeah, it's terrific. Great time to be a shaver. So let's see how fast I can get this going. I swirled this around for a while and I didn't feel like it gathered the type of soap that I wanted it to gather or like I received from other knots. Kind of spoiled now. I mean, today's badger knots are increasingly getting denser and denser. And um, some of them are so dense that they start to shed more because they're so packed in there that not all the hairs get glued down appropriately. So I've had that happen with one knot in particular, but most knots these days, I mean, brush makers and, start and such, their uh, sourcing methods are pretty precise. All right, so this needs more water. I can already feel the lack of density in this knot. And it's such a beautiful handle that I almost don't want to get it re-knotted. I just don't want to run the risk of the handle getting damaged in the process, but I would give it to somebody that I trust, like Milton. I don't think, uh, last I heard, Peter Wolf, who is the owner, proprietor, and brush maker at Wolf Whiskers. I don't think he does re-knotting service. I don't think he'll re-knot his brushes. He will take, in the initial process, and in the inception, if you send him a brush handle, he'll accept a third party. Now, he's not really into sourcing knot. He does, but it's not his big thing. He doesn't have, like, he had that Black Wolf which gained a lot of fame. A lot of folks liked it. You know, there's a lot of uh, replica knots that followed that. But as far as badger goes, I can't think of other than one. There was like a Highland badger that Peter offered that I didn't really see anybody else offer. But um, a lot of brush makers now have like their patented mainstay in their collection, their claim to fame. That knot is theirs. Can't get it anywhere else. And I don't know that Peter's really had that proprietorship with a knot. Sometimes they'll source it from a certain place. I think they all come from China. This soap base is excellent, but I gotta tell you, um, this knot's doing its job. It's just thin in comparison to today's badger knots. I just added a whole ton of water in there to see what it does. I've got a lot of growth too. So that's going to uh, cause the lather to do what it does. We shall see. So anyway, last I heard, I talked to a good buddy of mine about it. And his response to me is, I don't think Peter will re knot his brushes. He'll just make them, sell them to you, fulfill your order. And that's that, and that's fine. That's you know the way Peter wants to do it. Still has a waiting list, still very popular. I like the guy, he's a stand-up dude. And he makes, I mean, his beautiful craftsmanship. But 
Um, I would say back then, three or four years ago, Peter was it. I mean, he was like the uh, Leonardo da Vinci of brushes, in my opinion. And today, there's a lot of folks that have a lot of skill that are commensurate. And so it's very competitive out there. But Peter still sticks to what he does well. And he continues to do it well. Um, he's a craftsman. He's an artist. And, I mean, outside of the knot, that's not Peter's fault. That's still one of my favorite handles. Or one of my favorite knots. Not knots. Yeah, handles. Jeez, I got it right the first time. I'm tired, folks. And I got to get up in like four hours again. All right, feather blade. Let's see if I kill myself. The nice part about the haircut is my sideburns are lined up. And I knew that this blade. Oh my gosh, this is smooth. So this is my 34C. And lately, for birthdays and such, I've been getting Amazon gift cards. And you can get wedge shaving stuff on Amazon. Uh, the artisan stuff, though, costs, it's like a 25 to 30% markup. So, I really don't buy that kind of stuff on there anymore. This might be like a two, three pass shave. But I've been trying to buy things that, um, you know, I've been wanting, maybe haven't gotten around to getting. Last time I got the standard razor with my birthday. My mother got me an Amazon gift card, my mother and father, and then my mother-in-law and father-in-law also got me an Amazon gift card. It was a late birthday gift. And um, so cool. So what I picked up with it, I racked my brain. I kept it around for like a week. I didn't know what I wanted to get with it. And I finally decided on a 34G. So it's basically this razor, but gold. It's gold plating and it's beautiful. I've wanted one for a long time. It's not a necessity, but I love this razor. And you know, like Citrus Verde video, I talked a lot about my affinity for this razor. But It's a gold version of one of my favorite razors. I got it. I still feel the calling. I have the gunmetal um, Rockwell. I have the gunmetal version. And I still want the chrome or the stainless steel. I'll probably just get the chrome. Or I'll save up two cards and get the stainless steel. I'm on the waiting list for the carb razor, the stainless steel for that. So I'm being very selective, but of all the economy razors that I have basically pushed out of my den, this one I've kept. Now I noticed the price is back to about $42, $44 for this razor. And it's right up, it was 50, almost 60 bucks for the gold plated one. Now I have to tell you folks, I haven't used a feather in a while. And this is smooth. And that has to do with the sharpness of the blade and obviously the edges are smooth, but it is smooth. My gosh, I don't even feel, I mean, there's definitely some more stubble to mow down. But I will say that that took care of a larger percentage of my stubble than my typical and customary first passes do. So. Let's get back at it. I might be able to do this in two, three passes. Let's see, I gotta tell you guys, I'm less than impressed with this knot. But when I bought it, it was kind of the cat's meow at the time. Now, it's more of like a dead alley cat, right? <laughs> I mean, it's a good knot, it's fine. It's just that the other knots I know I have I think I'm going to have Milton re knot this. I did talk to him about it a little bit because I do love this handle. It's gorgeous. It's Shadows of Stone. You can't see it with all this soap. The Shadows of Stone hinge with this all clear. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. 
And in hindsight, I almost wish I got Badger because it was a more expensive handle and it's wolf whiskers. And at the time it was like buying, you know, a Picasso or something, you know, you get a good frame for that. If you don't buy the Walmart stuff. So I put Badger in it and I probably, I wish I would have gotten like a black wolf and put it in there. Cause at least that would have been more, more usable. Like I said, this uh, knot is, it's just not as dense. And my gosh, this is a smooth shape. My goodness gracious. Maybe that's the marriage. Maybe it's the 34C and the feather blade. All right, so on the soap, 16 minutes in. Uh, the soap, it's a lavender soap and um, Bine is notorious for just, I, I think they're, they're very fragrant soaps and they're very fragrant splashes and everybody knows that about Fine. And I think that's what they go for. So you hear remarks about people saying their vetiver really doesn't smell like a vetiver. It's more of a fragrant perfume style vetiver. It's it's got a hint of it. It's decided, it's designed to kind of remind you of that type of fragrance or that type of note, but it's not going to give it give it to you in its purest form. And so that's the difference there. Um, it's fine. Is just good at making very fragrant scent profiles. And this lavender, you do get the lavender in there, but it's almost like a lavender cologne. And that's really kind of where fine. I think they that's they kind of try to push the boundary there. It's we're gonna give you lavender, we're gonna give you vetiver, we're gonna give you sandalwood, we're gonna give you these undernotes, but we're gonna give it to you in a cologne style fusion. And so that's what lavender smells like. It, you do pick up the lavender, it's there. And if you smelled it and were blindfolded, you would know it was some sort of a lavender note, but it's a very fragrant, almost like a cologne. That's the way I can best describe it. It's a very cologne style, cologne-esque type of lavender. And um, I don't think it's a dupe. of anything. Now back in the past, normally I go on the site and do a bunch of research on this stuff and I just didn't have time to do that today. And I might be shooting myself in the foot because Fine does do a lot of dupes and this could very well be a dupe. Now they used to do a Savon de Lavande, something like that it was called, and can't get it anymore. Abraham West Coast Shaving has it and It's apparently modeled after like a three, $400 cologne and they did it for a while. It was glorious and they don't do it anymore. So this one is from what I've been told, cause I don't think I've ever smelled. I don't think Abraham's ever had it when I've been around and smelled it. Maybe I have and I forgot. He has that Savon. He keeps it for good reason. I'd keep it too. And this is what has replaced it. Just like green vetiver has replaced clean. I love, I prefer clean, but such is life. Now I've gotten much better lab lathers from this base. I was going to say lavender. I'm on the lavender kick right now. Uh, I've gotten much denser, richer lathers from this base with synthetic bore and denser badger knots. This badger knot doesn't do the soap base justice. If you go back to my other fine videos, there's I've gotten much better lathers from buying from other knots.
So Milton, if you're watching, probably gonna have you re-knot this brush. I don't even think I need to go for my cleanup, folks. I'm gonna end it right here. This was one of the smoothest shades I've had. I've had a few that I can notate, that I can put my finger on this past year before the conclusion of 2019. But this fine razor, I was thinking about it earlier. I thought, I remember the last time I used a feather, it was with uh, my Mercur 34C and it was a spectacular shave. And that was when I was relatively new. It's been probably two or three years since I've used a feather and I have them. And oh my gosh, this is a match made in wet shaving heaven. Feather blade, Mercur 34C. Not a nick, not a scratch. I had a ton of growth, didn't cut my bumps. I had like a few, but very small. Great. So if you're looking for a lavender that doesn't smell like you're in a lavender flower field, it's more fragrant, it's more um, aromatic and one that you can wear in front of your friends, in public, at work, your family, special events, this is fantastic. So this is the old bottle. The newer bottles are a little more aerodynamically shaped. I mentioned the really old bottles, but these are nostalgic. I even have one of the really old ones with the thicker labels. And I don't know if those were waterproof. Oh, stuff smells good. Well, like I said, this one, the sandalwood smells a lot like sandalwood. The vetiver is more of a fragrant cologne type, you know, Tom Ford dupes and things like that. Um, this one smells like a lavender cologne and I love it. So pick it up again. This was Fine's Lavender. Fantastic shave, fantastic soap formulation. You go back to my other videos, hear about the scent profiles, select the ones that you think that you'd like based on your sniffer. But I love them all. And again, the Fine brand is one of my favorite. I buy a lot of their products, not just the soaps, and they're worth checking out. They're a mainstay in the wet shaving community. There's just something sophisticated about them. I love the brand. and. You know, I hope that they bring out some more soaps to add to the line. I think there's a lot to do out there. I'd love to see what they accomplish. So God bless you folks. It'll be a while, probably another week before I uh, will have another time to, or more time to film another video. But I'm dead tired and uh, got to hit catch a plane in another four or five hours. So God bless. I'll see you guys next time.